Welcome to I Copper Room in Cardigan Castle, Cardigan, Wales. Into the gardens of the castle, and there is uh, a bar there, 1176 bar. Uh, there's also a walk right round the walls of the castle, um, which we'll be doing shortly. We'll just sort of take a look at. Uh, the main sort of gardens um, before we before we start walking. There's a terrific history uh, to Cardigan House, which is uh, next door to the castle or a part of the castle. Um, and there's a massive history all around about how um, who built it and why and, uh, and and all that history. So obviously, what we're going into in this video, but well worth a visit and if you do actually get a chance to stay in the castle um, then this is all part of it and, and definitely well worth there are rooms and rooms of all the history uh, which is so interesting so um, yeah a, a great find it's all the part of the uh, the hotel stay sat in the kitchen garden just looking at the back of the castle uh, and the back of the castle house uh, and that's actually part of the castle is from 1171 so uh, as you can see there's a, a mass of history to do with Cardigan Castle and, and again I'll say it, it it's just amazing that uh, you, you stay in the hotel and you've got the access to the castle um, as well as uh, obviously your room and the surrounding town and it's all included in your uh, room fee. So inside the room and as you can see there are two ways to go so let's just go first of all into the bathroom. Into the bathroom and as you can see it, it's a really quite a large bathroom space uh, even though obviously you've got the sloping roof but it's got um, obviously the toilet uh, a nice compact sink and uh, a good size shower. Um, also, there's a view, <laughs> a view from the uh, the room over over the gardens of the castle. Um, yeah, quite quite a nice, big, good size bathroom. Once out of the bathroom, you've got immediately on your left, you've got uh, a sofa, which actually is a sofa bed, I've been told, um, and a nice little coffee table there. So certainly as we don't need a sofa bed, it's going to be a nice little sitting area uh, with, um, with a nice little table. There isn't air conditioning, but as you can see, there are a couple of radiators which will keep it warm. And the room is actually on the top floor, so you do have the sloping roof, it's sort of in the attic. And again, there are some beams, which are probably, since I'm only pretty small, I bet they are only six foot high, the beams. So anybody with sort of any taller than myself, uh, at five foot nine, will, um, will, you know, needs to be careful of the beams. Right, there is a, a nice wardrobe, obviously just with some hangers for your clothes. Uh, there's also another fire and also a radiator there. There is a DVD player and a TV. And as you can see, you've got a Wi-Fi point there as well, which is absolutely brilliant because the room obviously has Wi-Fi. Um, a couple of chairs and then you've got um, some water and some teas and coffees uh, all in here. I guess if I can sort of open it. Yes, there we go. So you've got milks, hot chocolates, teas and coffees. So that's really good. Oh, and you've got a couple of toffee waffles. So I'll need to snaffle those away before the wife sees them. Okay, looking around, um, this room is actually a twin room. Uh, we couldn't get a double when we booked because it was quite full and I did want to stay in the castle so we we took the twin option um, and that means we'll probably both get a great night's sleep uh, but the, the beds are not I wouldn't have called them singles 
Um, obviously not a double and probably not a three quarters, but they are a good size single. Um, so they are quite, quite big. A couple of nice lamps at the side and then there's a desk with a mirror above the top. Um, so yeah, that's it. So let's quickly go on to facilities. Um, this was £85 for the night. That does include breakfast for two people and it also includes uh, entry into the castle. So uh, the castle, I don't know exactly how much it is. I'll pop it on the screen now. Uh, but at least it includes that. Uh, so that's nice. It's nice to be able to walk around uh, the castle included. Um, the gardens look lovely, which uh, you've probably seen on the video already, uh, providing I go out there and film them. On a rating front, I mean, the room has pretty much got everything you want, plus lots of room. Um, you, your views are out over the castle. Didn't actually look out over the castle. But the views are over the castle and also out over the um, main sort of street in Cardigan. So, ah, uh, right, what can I say is wrong with it? Perhaps you might argue that the beams are quite low if you're a tall person. I mean, the place is absolutely spotless. Uh, it's got a, you know, a nice-ish sized TV. You've got plenty of room. I really cannot see a fault here. Maybe air conditioning, but I don't see you're going to need that either. Uh, there's no bath, so let's be ultra picky and take half a point off for no bath. Um, no fridge. Let's take half a point off for no fridge and be really nasty. Um, so, yeah, if I say this is a 9 out of 10, it's not doing it justice. Um, it's a fantastic room uh, in a fantastic location. Um, right in the centre of Cardigan as well, um, so yeah, let's say 9 out of 10 then, but that's that's very low, it, it, it's an excellent place. This has been the Y Kappa, I think she might have said I Kappa, or Y Kappa, uh, room at Cardigan Castle um, in Cardigan in Wales. So thank you very much for watching.